crafters, it's Julie Creek from Creek Bank Creations. I'm here today to share with you an instructional video on how to make the shaker ornament. This is a new product for us called the shaker ornament die. It's a great project that you can make and when you hang it on your tree, you'll have a little bit of family history hanging on your tree. Hang on, I'm gonna turn the camera down and I'm going to show you how to make the shaker ornament die. I have turned the camera down and um, we are ready to get started learning how to use the shaker ornament die. As you can see, this makes an adorable little ornament for Christmas. When you open it up, you're going to find three dies on the set. You have your base die for the front, you have your base die for the back, and then you have the circle die. The circle die is made for you to cut the acetate window, but it's also the perfect size to cut your photo. So I wanna go over with you today how to do this. The first thing you wanna do is decide what is it that you're going to die cut. And then you want to take your die and lay it right over your die cut and die cut your picture. You can see there I have my picture. You want to put your die on the acetate and cut a piece of acetate and then use the dies to cut the paper that you want to use for the front and the back of your ornament. And there we go, I have that cut. Then we're going to take that die that has the circle cut out of it in the middle, this one, and we are going to lay it in our self-adhesive foam. Now, the self-adhesive foam comes in a six by eight sheet. It comes in a package of six. You can find these on our website. And when we die cut, we're putting the die right down into the red liner side and putting it in our die cut machine, just like it's a piece of paper. When we take it out of the die cut machine, we can literally just pull the die off, pop the base out, have an inside circle we could do something with too. And we do have the pop dot die. I don't have that with me here right now, but the pop dot die is designed so you lay this over the top and you cut up the scraps into pop dots. I went and found the pop dot die so you could see this. And it's a great way to use up your scraps and not have any waste out of the six by eight sheets of foam. So pop dot die. Okay, so we have our foam shape. Now, if we want to, we could take a Copic marker, chameleon marker, spectrum, nor alcohol-based marker, and we could color the outside edge of the foam before we put the whole entire thing together. I did not bring my markers with me today, so I cannot do that. We are going to start with our back. I'm going to turn that over, and I'm going to take the front piece and set that on my back piece. And just take a pencil and lightly mark exactly where that circle is. That will give us an alignment place for our photo to go in. I'm going to take and run tape across this. So you could, um, actually you could put tape on the back of the photo before you die cut it. Or you could use liquid. Either, anyway works. I will set my photo right on top of that area so that I have that die cut circle exactly where I want it. And then I'm going to put my foam on top. So I'm going to take my liner and remove it from my foam. And we're going to adhere that to the card. Now, when you cut this foam, sometimes there's this little shred thing that happens with the foam, especially if you run it through twice, and I almost always do. So you just pull those off. They're just little pieces of cut foam hanging around. We're gonna line this up. So I put undo on the background so that I have time to set that foam exactly the way I want it. If I get it on there and it's crooked, I can use the undo to straighten everything out. Now, we don't have to worry about the undo coming in contact with that photo because my undo is acid-free and photo safe. Now, I could have colored 
the edge of my foam with a marker and you need an alcohol based marker before I got started if I wanted to color that edge and that would give me a red edge instead of a white edge but I did not bring my markers with me today. We're going to remove the red liner and then we will adhere the top. Before we put our top on we're going to take that piece of acetate and add it. Now if we want to add a little sparkle shine thing to our project we can so I'm just going to add a little bit of the light heart confetti just to that not much and I'm going to try to get more of the little beads than anything there are very tiny beads in this mix which are fun because they roll around so I'm going to put a little bit of light heart shake and rattle confetti in there and then we will put our acetate on top now I have some things hanging here that I don't like. So I'm going to take my undo and just put my undo. So if you get the confetti stuck on the side of the foam, just use your undo to pull that off. Now we're going to stick our acetate on there. So we've made it into a shaker. There we go. And then we will add our top. So before we add the top, I am going, see how sticky that is. I am going to take my undo, put my undo on the back so that I have time to line everything up exactly the way I want it. It just gives you time to set everything perfectly. And you can see that just gives you a really special little ornament special memory. You could actually um, put something on the back, a date or whatever you wanted to put on the back. I did make that hole at the top large so that you can easily get in there with a ribbon and add your ribbon tie up at the top and add a bow to it. So it really makes a nice ornament for you to give and what a special way to um, keep your memories on your Christmas tree. I don't know about you, but we have on our tree um, a history really of our family. And every year we add ornaments to our tree that um, tell the story of what we did that year. So this is uh, Tom and my son and my oldest grandchild, Sam. He's probably three in this picture and he's seven now. So you can see it's a great thing to make these ornaments and have them for memories for years to come. You can find the shaker ornament die on our website. I will list in the product, in the description of this video, I will list shopping links for our website. And you can find all these fun projects on our website at www.creekbankcreations.com.